So I think that the vision to begin with was to, to allow students to network with people in the industry, to learn from them. And as a person, I've been in the industry for a long time. I I'm a, uh, was iHeart on iHeart Radio, I'm 35 years in radio. And the vision really was to connect media students with media professionals so they can you know, network for potential jobs, internships, and just learn about the industry. That mission has stayed the same. The media has changed a little bit, absolutely. The media has changed in the way that students are podcasting, students are doing convergent media, so they're not only just doing a radio show, they're videotaping for YouTube. They're, they're throwing it out on streams. They're doing graphic design. So there's a lot of different aspects. They're doing blogs. So it kind of changed a little bit in that way. Uh, it used to be the radio conference, now it's the media conference. This is a, definitely a networking event, so they're learning from and networking with potential employers, or you know, maybe these people might know somebody that, that would be, they'd be a perfect match for. The pay came up, and we said, don't get into this business for the pay. You either love it or leave it. If you don't love it and it's in your blood, then find something else. But I think for young people, with, with all of the different platforms that are available now, I mean, podcasting is huge, right? And I think whatever their passion is, there's room for that, whatever that might be. Uh, you know, it, it could be your passion about the ocean and you want to do, you know, stories about the ocean. Um, or it could be, you know, fiction. You want to create plays, theater. Um, whatever your passion is, there's certainly going to be an audience for it over some sort of social media platform. So, um, what is one thing that you wish you knew before you entered this industry? You know, I think probably, and I think a lot of young people do struggle with this, is finding your voice. Um, I think in the beginning you're trying to be whatever that program director or that news director wants you to be, and, uh, and they may not have said this, this is in your own head, you're like, okay, who am I? And, and you might try to emulate um, people that you admire, but you're not them, you know, you're you. So you have to find your voice and be your true self, and I think that's, that's a key to getting a job in this business.